Hello, everyone, and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. The day was half over before I got the bed made, and normally it's one of the first things that I get done in the morning. The sooner I can get the bed made, the longer it stays that way. But we had work to do in the yard, and the temperatures were expected to climb up into the 90s, and I wanted to get the yard work finished up before it got too hot. high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together We had guests staying with us for a few days, so I washed up the linens that we used to make up the guest room, but I didn't get them folded and put away. <laughs> so at least I can save myself a little time and use them to make up the bed. And summer is almost here, so I wanted to swap out the blue quilt for the white one. And we have two quilts and two duvets from Pottery Barn. And we've had the same bedding for years, <laughs> but to keep it interesting, we can mix and match them to create different looks. Smile. Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and I've talked about the routines and habits that I use to keep the house clean, but things don't always work out the way I want them to. <laughs> and there's always something that doesn't get done during the week, and either I can get caught up on the weekend, or I'll get back on schedule the following week, but clean sheets isn't something that I can let go for another week. Then he said, I wrote you a love song, and I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing the sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show they're in love now we have a down comforter on the bed and the weather is warming up so we haven't been using it but the temperatures haven't been consistent <laughs> so we keep it folded at the foot of the bed so it's there if we need it The laundry room is a complete disaster, and when I brought the quilt down to be washed, I wanted to tidy up and put everything away, but I had a few quick tasks in the house that I wanted to take care of first. And Miss Callie has been in the same spot all morning, so I had to tidy up around her, and I'll just come back and finish up when she finally decides to get up. We always try to sort through the mail as soon as it comes into the house, but mail always gets dropped in the kitchen when we bring it in. <laughs> and to keep the mail from piling up on the countertop, we move the files into the kitchen. So when we open the mail, anything important gets filed right away and anything we don't need gets shredded or recycled. And since we don't have a desk to sit down to do the bills, we keep everything we need in this top drawer. It's midnight. Oh. My 
My husband cleaned up in the kitchen after breakfast, but there's a few things that still need to be finished up. <laughs> the sink is full of dishes that just can't go into the dishwasher and need to be washed up by hand. I leave the dishes out to air dry so that I can finish up in the kitchen, and we try to wipe up the messes as we make them, but the countertops tend to camouflage all the little crumbs and spills, so just to be sure that they're clean, I'll give them a quick once over. Stainless steel is easy to scratch, so when I clean the stovetop, I always try to start by gently sweeping away any loose bits, and to cut back on the time that I spend scrubbing, I'll add a little water to anything that's dried up on the surface, and I'll let it soak while I finish up in the kitchen. I'm using a damp microfiber cloth to wipe down the stainless steel appliances, and I try to wipe down all of the stainless steel on a weekly basis, so that way they get all clean at the same time, but the microwave and the dishwasher always need to be cleaned more often, so I try to wipe them down when I notice they need it. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe. Still. 
still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, bye And now that the water has had a chance to loosen up the spills, all I have to do is wipe them away. I like to use a sponge to clean up in the kitchen. It's just much easier to use because sponges are designed to absorb liquid, but the crumbs don't get stuck in the sponge so it's easier to rinse out. And microfiber is designed to absorb liquids and trap particles so it's a bit harder to rinse. And I like to use microfibers to wipe down the appliances because it removes the excess water that can leave spots. But I know that you need it all Ooh, na 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 Just give me some time for some ways to know We have a robot vacuum for everyday light cleaning downstairs, but I still need to vacuum the rugs once a week, and when the weather is nice enough, we leave the doors open so that the dogs can spend more time outside with us, and they love to run in and out, tracking in half the outdoors with them. <laughs> but even when the doors are closed, we always need to make several trips in and out of the house for one reason or another, so the floors always <laughs> need to be vacuumed when we work in the yard. Dog hair and other debris float along the floor and get stuck in the carpet on the stairs and the lower half of the staircase <laughs> is always worse than the top half. But I try to vacuum the front part of the stairs every week, but more often than not, <laughs> it only gets done every few weeks and the top tread gets vacuumed every time I vacuum, but the front part of the riser is always harder to vacuum.
may have noticed that a line appeared on the back of my dress and there was a wet washcloth that was draped over the sink and when I was vacuuming my way out of the closet, I backed into it and it left a watermark. I had planned to mop the floors, but then I remembered I still had a laundry room to clean and a load of laundry that needed to be folded. And after a morning of yard work, I was ready for a break. So I decided that the floors could wait one more day. This is the one area of the house that always seems to pile up when we get busy. And when I get behind, I always try to prioritize things that make the biggest impact with the least amount of effort. <laughs> and putting everything away and getting things back in order may look nice, but it also helps to boost my productivity because I'm less motivated to do laundry when the things are out of place. And it also takes more time and effort to find what I need. So whether it's the laundry room or somewhere else in the house, getting things put away where they belong is always at the top of my list. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through, cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what is best for you Folding the laundry is the most time consuming part of my morning routine and I always try to get the laundry done first thing in the morning because the more time that goes by, <laughs> the less likely I am to get it done. But there are times like today when I need to rearrange my schedule and there are days when I will skip folding laundry because I know I can get caught up. But when I'm already behind, skipping the laundry just makes it harder to catch up again.
may remember that I washed the quilt earlier <laughs> and I'm so used to folding laundry in the morning that I completely forgot about the quilt and I didn't remember until the next morning and I have to be careful not to leave wet clothes in the washer <laughs> because there are times when the mildew only takes a few hours to set in and thankfully the temperatures are still cool enough to avoid the mildew problem. Once the laundry is folded, it only takes a few minutes to get everything put away, and as a rule, I try to get the laundry put away on the same day, but rules are made to be broken, and the trick is to make sure that breaking the rule is the exception and not the other way around. That's all for today. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Yeah.